Hello. Well, today I'm gonna continue to talk about uh, the Rocky movies with Rocky Three. One more movie until you know, this set's basically done to talking about. But yeah, um, in this film, um, you know, it takes place essentially, or at least has a recap of Rocky II, the end where, you know, uh, uh, Rocky wins by being the one to get back up and standing, where Apollo Creed wasn't able to get up in time to do so, but, um, you know, um, we see a montage with Eye of the Tiger playing, uh, which is where you know, this, that song was made for this film. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, we see a montage of Rocky fighting many other uh, opponents, and he keeps winning. And then in this, we see, aside from, you know, Adrian and Polly, who seems to be, gets more and more, like, irritated as time goes on. Like, he, you know, as we... And Faya, he wants something for Rocky. Like, he doesn't really help him or whatever. Or he doesn't really do too much for him. And he basically wants a job. And so Rocky gives him one. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Mickey is there uh, as his manager and helping him train and everything. And uh, But through that montage... Um, we see a new character, Clubber Lang, played by Mr. T, which is, you know, this is like his first film. You know, it says introducing Mr. T, and, uh, you know, he uh, wants to fight Rocky, but Mickey doesn't want him to uh, fight him because he's seen him fight and just how, you know, just how he fights. It's like, it's like, it could be perhaps almost like a brawler to some extent uh, basically and so he doesn't want you know Rocky to fight somebody like that um, and we also see in moments at the beginning where you know this is kind of where people see the franchise sort of not being as serious as like the first two films and some of the later uh, 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 films but, like, you know, you got Rocky, uh, you know, doing for charity uh, this uh, match with a wrestler named Thunderlips, played by Hulk Hogan. And that, that, that you know, that, that whole scene is uh, just pretty, pretty funny and hilarious. Um, I also like how during the montage, also, um, you, you see Rocky doing commercials and stuff. So, you know, the, his whole of... Uh, um, you know, learning to read better and to uh, speak a bit better. That way, you know, he can just be more knowledgeable. Seems to have paid off for him and uh, with this film. Um, so I kind I actually like that. And um, Stone also directed this film and, of course, wrote it. Um, you know, he uh, directed uh, two, three, and four for the 80s. Um, well, all of the 80s sequels uh, are all Stallone. But, yeah. Um, uh, th this film is, uh, is just kind of... It's, it's, I still like it, obviously. I like, I like these films. Um, though, you know, Makey... When, they, when finally uh, uh, Rocky uh, and Clubber Lang agree to fight... You know, and uh, uh, Legs like, I don't, I, I train on my own. I don't have really help. I, he never really had help before, and he doesn't need it now. He's like a, basically like a self-made guy. And so he, uh, we see uh, Rocky training and uh, uh, Clubber training. And, you know, before they actually go fight, actually fight in the ring, um, you know, there's an incident. We're trying to, like, Mickey's trying to have them, you know, get out of there, get out of the way, and so that they can, 
you know, go into the ring and uh, do all that. But in the midst of that, you know, uh, uh, Mickey has some problems. Um, you know, I'm sure also the fact that he didn't really want him to fight uh, Clubber Lang to begin with, but also now that he, uh, and also revealed how, you know, he kind of, like, got Rocky to fight uh, opponents who weren't really uh, as good as, you know, as he was, or Apollo, you know, so like a, basically like a worthy opponent, people who were uh, not the absolute best uh, that he could have fought, you know, he probably no doubt feels like a lot of guilt to some extent, but he was like he was protecting him, but now he's you know, trained him and everything to now fight Clubber Lang. Um, but he, uh, falls and is hurt and all that, and he, uh, uh, or, well, not necessarily hurt, he doesn't get really, like, knocked out, he's just kind of like, he falls because, you know, it's, uh, it's his heart and everything, and he, uh, he's taken into the, uh, like, the uh, locker room and uh, Rocky goes uh, to the ring to fight Clover and we see Apollo Creed and he's there he, he isn't fond of uh, 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 Clover Lang because you know well he's basically rude and uh, he just wants to uh, fight Rocky and he uh, he, Apollo tells him to just knock the guy out, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll do like I do. I'll do my best." And so he goes and uh, uh, the the you know the you know the fight starts, and uh, this is like the first time we've really seen Rocky out and out plain lose. You know, he he lost in the first film, but you know, that was like a split decision or, you know, it could have gone either way. Um, and he won just barely in the second film. But this is the first time he gets like, you know, knocked down and he's, he gets beaten and doesn't go like the distance. It doesn't go 15 rounds or, you know, a certain amount of time, uh, or certain length. And he's just beaten and he's, he falls and loses goes back to the locker room where Mickey is there and he's talking to him he's like hey, did you win and he goes like yeah I won and he goes he doesn't want to tell Mickey he lost especially since you know that it, it, it doesn't look too good for him uh, and then afterwards he dies also um, uh, yeah I forgot to uh, uh, mentioned earlier how uh you know there's a statue erected of rocky which is there in philadelphia still that used to be at the top of the stairs now it's you know uh, near down uh, down at the bottom of the stairs like off uh, a little bit but people could still like take pictures of the rocky statue get their picture taken <laughs> next to it um still a great tourist attraction and uh and people still run up the stairs to this day. People do that, like, all the time. People who go to Philadelphia, either visiting just to see what it's like, or if they have family there, they visit, they go back to the museum where, you know, Rocky ran up the steps, and then uh, in many cases they go to sort of run up them like he did. Um, it's pretty cool. But you know, the statue is still there, which I like. Um And that's where, you know, Clover first really confronts Rocky, like, face-to-face. -face. Um, and then I like how uh, uh, Apollo Creed is the one who helps Rocky uh, train and get into shape to properly uh, fight uh, Clover again. And how, uh, you know, how it's very personal, because now also, like, you know, he lost Mickey, and so he, ne he needs something more he's... And, and Apollo was trying to 
uh, help him get, you know, uh, that, uh, the eye of the tiger back that he has lost since the last time, uh, the two of them fought and that he owes him something for this. Like after he wins, he owes him for helping him and, uh, they, uh, you know, so, you know, they're training and it takes a while. And also they're like in California, like an old neighborhood that, uh, uh, Apollo used to live in before he became, you know, a professional and everything. He, you know, he, uh, is training with Apollo there and doing all the stuff that is needed so that way... When finally at the end of the film, he goes and fights Clubber Lang. You know, he is able to be victorious. And, uh, of course he is. And then the film ends with, you know, him being the champ again. But then also he goes and, uh... uh with, uh, with Apollo, you know, uh, uh, into a ring. Just the two of them, uh alone at night and they uh you know it's to, to fight just the two of them because you know uh apollo he's like i i he never completely got over the fact that he uh he lost just by that much it wasn't like he got knocked out or knocked down to the point where he legitimately had a hard time getting up with rocky standing or anything like no it was like he, he won by just like a like a second or so and he, he just couldn't, you know, uh, let that go, you know, even though he's like, oh, I got over that, but, you know, he really didn't. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a lot happens in this film. Obviously, you know, just me talking about it. Uh, some of the major points that uh, happen, you know, uh, in the music, which is really cool and good. Uh It's just a very excellent. It's a. It's a, just an. It's a really entertaining film. Excellent uh, film uh, on the entertainment level. Might not be as good as like the. Maybe the first two films, but it's still entertaining. I think it's very good, on its own right. Uh, own right, own merits, and everything. I do like this sort of like the overall fairly consistency that this series has and, you know especially up at this point you know and how it just you know it keeps going with the story just keeps going and um it's it's just a very good film overall you know it's sad that mickey died but you know i guess at some point he might have up and retired anyway at some point you know he even said that before because he didn't want to train Rocky anymore, and he's like, I'm retired, I'm going. He's, yeah, if you're going to fight him, all right, I'm not having any part of it. But who knows, maybe he would have stuck around with Rocky uh, even after the fight, but uh, who knows. Um, also, in the second film, he also had a hearing aid that he didn't have in the first, but, you know, it's... Uh, A little more emotional in the fact that you know now that he uh, 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 Rocky has lost uh, Mickey, it's, uh, it's very unfortunate. Um, Burgess Meredith did an excellent job in these films. Um, Excellent movies, uh, honestly. I these are definitely like the ultimate underdog films, really. Um, guy from the neighborhood's able to make something of himself and uh, prove he isn't just some bum from the neighborhood, and uh, it's really an inspiring 
franchise, honestly. It's like you you put your mind to it, you can really accomplish anything. And um, and there's a persistence with Rocky that you know he has something in him that he just won't go away. And uh, that no doubt is a a big reason why people love Rocky. You know, Rocky is an excellent uh, uh, character. And the world that he's in is uh, just so great. He's not really like a bad guy overall, but, you know, from the first film, you know, he's like also like a lone shark in, his, in addition to, you know, fighting. Um, yeah, this is a franchise that uh, it keeps getting more interesting as each film uh goes on and um it's one that i it's a franchise i really uh hold in high esteem you know it's a it's just an excellent uh, franchise um stallone's like the heart of of these films obviously you know not just for the playing the lead but you know writing all these films and um just being a big uh uh major uh contributing factor in trying to keep this character alive as and as beloved as possibly or as humanly uh, possible um, but yeah he's uh, these films are excellent the characters are uh, just you know generally you know overall fantastic even if perhaps some of the the villains or at least the antagonists of the film aren't always the you know the uh might not always be the greatest in some regards but it's a but yeah the films are all entertaining really in their own right um i know there's a couple or one in particular that uh isn't as beloved but you know we'll get to you know that when we get there but yeah that's really all i've got um about rocky three it's a pretty good film pretty good installment uh keeps going and uh really it's just uh it's a franchise that is a uh, that just keeps like uh keeps the story going keeps trying to make the story as interesting as possible and uh i think that's a good thing you know it sucks when franchises keep going on and on and then the characters uh, or and or stories just sort of like get into a rut and i guess you could maybe say that about rocky and in some uh, installments but i don't think it's all that uh overtly repetitive you know if apollo creed was still the the guy who he goes up against i think then it would have been okay now we're just repeating things whereas with the second film it made sense because he's like you know he uh people were saying he uh, fought to the point where it was so close that brocky could have won when that wasn't the case but people thought that and so he just fought some bum and almost lost and that wasn't a real fight it wasn't legitimate and this and that um because there was really no reason for an actual rematch in the sense like that's like the focus of the whole film i mean there was at the end but you know it cuts off or it cuts out to the before you know we see what happens they're about to go and then it freeze frames in the credits roll um yeah this is a pretty good film uh yeah i enjoy it uh do you enjoy it do you rank this uh as high as the first two films or lower or where do you rank this movie if you've seen all these films do you like it do you dislike it why or why not um yeah let me know uh, your thoughts if you want and uh, hope all of you have had a great week 
Hope all of you will have a great weekend as well as a great day. <clears throat> and I'll see you all next time. Take care.